15 seconds, is that right? 15 seconds. Just a little bit skewy. It's going to bother me. There we go. Okay. Okay. Hey, Jim. Jim, you're gonna love this one. <laughs> Might cost you. <laughs> okay, we're looking at... Uh... Get started in 30 seconds or so. Just let more people get in. <laughs> okay, well, let's get going. Hi, everyone. Sensor Ken here. Today we are streaming from the right place, which is always a plus, so you should see us. Um, we're still planning, unless we hear otherwise, to open on the 4th of July. There will be uh, stringent systems in place. We'll make that very clear uh, what they are before that happens. And classes will be run with social distancing, much as you're going to be seeing this class and all the other classes you've seen before on a Thursday. Um, also, this Wednesday, we're going to be, weather permitting, running um, outdoor open air classes. Um, we will be messaging people uh, very clearly um, on Monday how you can book in to these classes, okay? So things are happening, things are moving in the right direction, so it's all good, we're getting there. All right, so got quite a lot today. I'm um, going to do some sword work. I'm going to demonstrate um, in a little bit more detail how we're going to be teaching uh, the Shte and the Uke for individual Kihonwaza, or basic techniques. So if you're a beginner, don't be phased by it. Um, this is something that you will be led very carefully through. You will be able to achieve this. So we'll look at some Kion Waza. We'll then look at some dynamic practice, how we can do things that take up a lot of space in a very small space and still get benefit from that. Um, and then we'll finish off with some, some Goshen Waza. Okay, so uh, we'll start with um, Ippon Mei and we'll just have a quick look at it. Then I'm going to set you a challenge. So, what I need you to do right now, anyone can do this. Um, I need adults engaging, juniors engaging, and we're going to run a competition, okay? So, amongst the adults, we may have, for example, an adult student and their partner. Uh, both can do this, it's fun. Um, and we're going to be running a competition. The winner cooks dinner for the other one, okay? Now, if cooking isn't your bag, Get on our website, there's loads of cool recipes on there and they're not really that hard, so it's all doable. So if you, uh, if, if, if you come second or if you lose the challenge, you're cooking dinner, okay? So amongst juniors, if you're training with a parent, for example, uh, we're going to have a competition. And juniors, if you win, then your parent has to clean your bedroom, okay? If the parent wins, then you clean your own bedroom. All right, so that, that's what's going to be happening going forward. But right now, let's just have a look at Ippon Mei. Okay, so weapons. Okay. Shte, Uke, Ippon Mei. Jume! Ippon Mei. for Ippon Mei. Now, the weather's not great out there today, although it has improved since this morning. Um, if you're indoors, we don't want to be wielding swords or long poles or things like that. So you can use something short like this, even a pencil or a pen. So we've all got 
stuff like that. And, and so if we're stood here and I'm doing Ippon Me Ashte, as I call Hajime, I simply rise, step in and cut like this, okay? If I'm uke to block, I move here like that, that's all. So to here like that to block, if I'm uke, shuffle in and cut like that as shte, okay? So this attack, this is important, remember this number, will be called itch, which means one. So when I call one, this is the attack that you do. Okay, you move forward like this, and if you are uke, you move like this, okay? So, um, what we're going to do is give the guys numbers. Matt will be one, or itch. Sensei Martin will be two, or knee, okay? So when I call their number, whoever's number I call, does the attack. And the attack, just remember, is simply that. And if you're defending, so if I call itch and Sensei Matt attacks Sensei Martin, if I call itch, then Sensei Matt will do this, and Sensei Martin will do this, okay? So let's go through that. So the first number I call will refer to who is going to do the attack. In this case, it's Sensei uh, Matt, it's itch, and if I call knee, then Sensei Martin attacks. Alright, this is an exercise in focus, which is really, really important um, in any martial art. So, get a partner at home, doesn't matter who it is, uh, mum, dad, auntie, brother, sister, whatever, doesn't matter. And if you don't have a partner, I'm going to be your partner, okay? So, we're going to do that exercise. Um, if you're my partner, I'm itch and your knee, okay? Uh, itch is this side. And knee is that side. So uh, get ready, we're going to do this together now. I hope you blocked. Focus. Just a reminder, if you just come in here, I'm your training partner. If I call itch, I'm going to attack you with an overhead cut like this. Meanwhile, you get something in your hands like this, pencil, whatever, and if I'm attacking you, you block like that. If I call knee, then you attack me like this, and I block you like this. So let's get ready. And if you get a bit stuck, watch what the guys do in the background. Sensei Matt is itch, Sensei Martin is knee. Get ready. I hope you blocked. Itch! Knee! Ay! Okay, anyone got a sore head? Maybe, okay, right. Let's make it difficult, a little bit more difficult now. Let's look at a second kind of attack that we could do. We're gonna call this attack knee. So, uh, what Sensei Matt's going to do He's going to strike sideways, or Yoko Manucci, towards Sensei Martin's head. Sensei Martin is simply going to shuffle back and block. Okay, so let's see how that looks. Ouch! Come on. Hey. Come on. San! Come on. Stay in UK, call time. How does this change round? So who was blocking is now attacking. H I E I Sa I Okay, relax there. So what you have just seen there, we're going to call that attack, we're going to call that attack knee. So attack itch is this, and attack knee is this. If you're blocking against itch, you do this. If you're blocking against knee, you do this. Okay, let's see how that looks now. Just watch this for now. So Sensei Matt, his number is itch. 
The number I call first indicates who's going to attack. Sensei Matt is itch, Sensei Martin is knee. And the second number I call is the kind of attack you're going to do. Okay, demonstration first. Get ready. there. So Sensei Martin's going to be cooking dinner for Sensei Matt. How romantic. Okay, so um, now I want you to take part with your partner. Decide amongst yourselves who is going to be itch in terms of person, who is going to be knee. If you're my partner, I'm itch and you're knee. Okay? So if I call itch, that's me, I then call the number of the attack Itch, it's this. So that would be itch, itch. If I call itch and then I call attack knee, it's this. Okay, I hope you're all staying with me here. Okay, so itch means I attack. Itch is the number of the attack. Boom. Itch, itch. Boom. Itch knee. Boom. Okay, good. If you're UK, if you're blocking against the first attack, it's here. If you're blocking against the second attack, it's here. Okay. Everyone staying with me here, everyone with me here. Okay, all right, here we go. So let's get ready, we're all doing this together. So the first number I call indicates who is going to attack. If you're my partner, my number is itch, your number is knee. Okay, the second number I call is the attack I'm going to do. So if you're okay, or if you're receiving the attack, you need to respond appropriately. It's knee! <laughs> Okay, good. Um, I hope you're all staying with us now because we're going to make it even more difficult, okay? <laughs> There's going to be a third attack called Sam. Again, it's Yoko Minucci, side strike. The target is the knee, okay? So uh, we're going to demonstrate that now. Sensei Matt, who was called Itch, we're doing the attack. And he's going to be doing attack number three, which is called San, which is a Yoko Minucci to the knee. So let's just have a look at at that as a demonstration. So I'm going to call itch your number, Sam the attack. It's Sam! It's Sam! It's Sam! Okay, if I were to call knee Sam, then obviously Sensei Martin is knee, so he would do the attack. Sam, he'd do the third attack, the one you've just seen. Knee Sam! If you note the block, knee Sam! Okay, and relax. Right, okay, so here we go. Three attacks. They're called itch, which is here, blocked like that. They're called knee, here, blocked like that. Or they're called san, here, blocked like that. Okay, so those are the three attacks. So if you're with your partner, again, remind each other who is who in terms of your personal number, itch or knee. If you are my partner, you're knee and I'm itch. So the first number I call indicates who attacks. The second number is the set routine we're going to do. Okay, so get ready. Itch, itch! <laughs> knee, son! Aye! Okay, we had a mistake behind me there. It's me! <laughs> me, me! <laughs> it's Sam! <laughs> okay, and relax there. So, the question is, are you cooking me dinner? <laughs> okay. Who's cooking dinner here? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so... Weapons away. Horses. This is how we're going to be teaching in a little bit more detail when you get back into the dojo 
techniques that you may not be familiar with. So even if you're a brand new student, if you've had even just joining us, no lessons at all, it's doable, okay? And we'll show you exactly how we're going to do that. Now, we're going to be doing a little bit more complex a technique because the Kihon Waza for I owe you dinner, Sensei. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> Can it be dinner of my choice? I love surf and turf. How's that? Okay. Uh, vegan? You've got to be kidding. <laughs> okay, so um, we're gonna, uh, my head's gone now. I'm thinking about what Jim's going to be cooking me for dinner. Um, so we're going to be teaching you how to do uh, the uke and the shte separately, then we'll put the two together. So uh, we'll just imagine that you've booked in for your class. Uh, we have a one-way system in the dojo. You come up the stairs, you clean your hands. If you wish to wear gloves or face masks, that might actually be a requirement. Even if it isn't, if you wish, you can. Uh, and then you make your way to the appropriate spot on the mat, which will be two meters apart. And the instructor will be at the front, although I'm not going to be there right now because I want to be talking to you. Um, so the technique we're going to be looking at is Shomanuchi Koregeshi Osaich. And this is how we're going to teach it, basically. So the students will be on their spots. They'll be facing the showman, obviously. We'll go through Kamai, we'll go through Kihondosa, all the usual stuff. And then I'll ask the students all to face the weapon side. And I will demonstrate the uke for this particular technique, and it'll be done by the count. Okay, the technique Shomanuchi Koregeshi Osaich. I'm not going to demonstrate it. I'm going to have these guys show you. Okay, so uh, come I. Okay. H. So uh, what will happen here is Shte has moved forward to cut because it's showing you she H and Uke has blocked like so. Uh, the next thing Shte will do will be to cut down, switch hands, back and shift and extend in this way. The way Uke responds will be this. B. Okay, having extended this way, Uke Shte will then raise his hand. Shift and strike. Aye! A strong key eye. Uke's response will be this. Not yet, Martin. San! Okay, having struck. Shte then takes the hand, cross steps through to throw. We're not going to fall. She! And we hold there. And for the purposes of the space that we have available, we're going to finish the technique there. Okay, come on. So, we're just going to repeat. Now, the uke for Shomanuchi Kurigeshi Osaich. H, E, Sa, Shi, Kamai. H, E, Sa, Shi, Kamai. H, E, Sa, Shi, Kamai. Okay, good. And having taught how to do the uke and repeated it sufficiently so that people are comfortable with what they're doing. We're then going to teach how to do the shte part. So I want you to imagine now that they're both shte, or in other words, the person is going to execute the technique. Okay, so with the same count. H shte steps forward to cut, then cross steps back, switches hands and extends to his rear. Okay. Shte then shifts, strike a tummy from the face. Sam! Then takes the uh, uke's wrist or hand with both hands, cross steps through to throw. She! Come on! And so we'll repeat how to do the shte, uh, like this. H! The student has now been taught how to do the uke, how to do the shte. We're now going to put those two together. Okay, so we'll have shte here Us. and uke on the side. Us. The technique shown in Shikori Geshe Sage. And no falling. Us. Us. Shake your core tight. H. O. 
Okay, so good. That's how we will be planning on practicing. Now, people have said, um, but I want to actually get my hands on people. Well, you can't. That's just how it is. So you've got a choice. You can sit and do absolutely nothing at all, or you can engage with this. Uh, when the doors are open, come back and engage with this. We have found that treading in this way is mentally very, very challenging, and it will, it will make your UK better. You've really got to think about it, because you've got no subconscious cues going on with the person you've got your hands on. No cues going on whatsoever. So you've really got to focus, you've got to use your head. It's incredibly valuable training. So do not think that training in this way is any less. In fact, once we have no restrictions on our training, I anticipate we'll keep this going awesome. occasionally, because it is, we have found, very, very valuable. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll have a look at how we can do um, kinds of training that takes up a lot of space on a dinner plate, because that's what we might have to do. So we're going to have a look at um, Go Asa on a dinner plate. And we're going to have only one person executing the technique at a time. And for the duration that uh, Sensei Matt is doing Go Asa, then Uke will be doing stomach crunches. Okay? So if you're not familiar with Go Asa, Go Asa means five techniques, five techniques. They're basic techniques. It's a choreographed set piece to give your body good muscle memory and to help you with a more dynamic practice. The fact that we're not taking long postures, well, that's just how it is. In the house, you may not have room. And certainly in the dojo, if we've got the maximum number of people on this mat, which would be 10, we won't have a great deal of space, so we may have to do this. Okay, so uh, go as Okay. Straight. Okay, that's good. Okay, so the first technique is, is corrugation. Very small steps. Hold Zanshin for a bit longer. Us. Okay. Next is Ikajo. E. Irimiski. San. Ishiro Nagi. Shi. Koki Nagi. Go. Shiteki Kota. Us. Squats. Us. That, what happened there, you may not have noticed, but that pivot was too far. No visual cues. So it's easy to do it wrong. But I'm watching, yeah? And you've got to be thinking. You've got to do it right. Awesome. Yeah? So that, that pivot was about 45 degrees too much. Awesome. Yeah? Which is too much. It's either too much or isn't it? It was too much. Okay, so we're on to the third technique. Now you can continue squatting. Irimiski. Stop! She! Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'll have you cooking dinner for me as well at this rate. Go! Come on. Okay, and switch. Uh, let's go back to burpees. Let's go burpees. Us. Okay, here we go. Faster now. Us. H! B! Sam! Don't push with your arms, Matt. No, no arm pushing. Chi! Go! Switch. Same both knees. Ouch! Sam! Udiski! What? Got to stay. Chi! Go! Hey! Come on! Okay, and relax there. That's, that gives you a good idea of how hard this is. Yeah, it's training your brain, training your folk, training your focus. You've got to think. You've got to focus. You've got to stay engaged. Okay. All right. We're going to have a quick look at a, uh, a self-defense uh, thing on timing. Okay. Us. Us. Okay. Us. Obviously, you can train with each other in the house, but on the mat, we've got to uh, keep distance. So, don't say matters, I'm going to do a figure of eight. Okay? Now, every time the weapon hits the centre, 
it has to be reloaded. Okay? So it's a really good time to enter when they pass the center, it rhymes and everything. Okay? So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to hold this Naginata, and then when he passes the center, I'm going to try and dob him, and he's so the back to nowhere else. Okay? <laughs> So what happens if you get the timing wrong? You get hit with whatever weapon they, they are holding you'll get hit with. Okay, this is just an exercise to teach adults and children about timing, distance and balance. Um, with Indy the other day, they don't understand yokum and shom and shomensky, the words. But all I want them to do is to understand, to be able to block with right side, left side straight down the middle. That's all I want my daughters to do. So when something happens, they subconsciously react. And that takes a bit of time. So, if I raise my hand up, if you might have noticed on the lives, I had a cushion on my hand, just in case they got it wrong. You, know, you don't brain your child, okay? So, <laughs> if I raise my hand up, I'm gonna circle this way. He's gonna come across his body and block it. Okay, same hand, so it's, it's easy. This way, his other side comes across, and he blocks it. Straight down, he's going to do shomanuchi. Okay, shomanuchi block. But then if you notice, look, by the camera, whatever hand I'm holding up, his opposite side needs to go high. Okay, that will take some time to, to sink in quite hard, okay? So, over this side, I'm not going to use left or right. I'm just going to use sides. Over this side, he comes across his body. Other side, he comes across his body. Straight down, he learns to do shomanuchi. And straight, straight in, he's going to block his body by doing a circle down. Okay? There you go. Okay, with me. I can be dad or whatever, and your child's there, or your wife or your husband or whatever. Okay? <coughs> Reaction drills and games you can play at home in your own time. They're all on the website as well. Us. Okay, so my point being, uh, adult children understand, when you learn to drive, you don't look down for your gear stick anymore, you just know where it lives. Uh, you can turn your light switch on and off in your bedroom, whether it's dark or not, you know where it lives, that's muscle memory. And you've got to do things over and over and over and over again, the same thing, not just keep chasing the shiny thing, that's fun. If you've got to get good at something, you've got to do it until you hate it. I'm afraid that's the way it is. Music, guitars, drums, anything. So, spend some time with your children or your husband. Do it left and right. Keep it nice and slow. Don't rush. Um, and then when the punch happens, they'll react in time. Fuss. <clears throat> okay, just to finish off then. Um, thank you again so much for your support. Um, my job is to keep this place afloat. Um, I can't do it without you. And obviously when this all started, uh, I went into disaster planning mode because that was one potential uh, way this was going to go, but it didn't. That's because of you, so thank you so much. Uh, we have a, a wonderful community here. You know, people from all walks of life. Uh, this is a family. This place is wonderful, it's great. We've built something really strong here. Um, we're living in crazy times, we really are. This pandemic, tragic. Um, half a million people, something like that, worldwide, are dead now. What good could come of that? Well, um, personally speaking, I think the only thing I could think of that anything good that could come out of this would be it would bring the human race together, bring us together as one, standing together against the common enemy, the, the virus, if you like. And that was my hope. 
and here we are, um, coming out of it, hopefully, and a handful of people are tearing our society apart. It's heartbreaking, really. Um, all these half a million deaths in vain, the one thing that could have come of this, this pandemic was our togetherness, our unity, mankind standing together. Um, all of this craziness that's happening in the world today, pandemic aside, please, the community that we have here from all walks of life, do not let that intrude on the wonderful thing that we have here. All I will say to you is be considerate and be kind to other people. Awesome.